So I'll go ahead and start. So I've started recording. Um, the first item that I want to talk about real quickly is ChaosCon Europe. Mm -hmm. Daniel, do you want to talk a little bit about this? Just in terms of like venue, are you happy with kind of how things are going? And Oh, yeah. Um, so regarding to the menu, we already uh, uh, booked uh, the, the, the original place at the Ibis Hotel. Uh, it's smaller than the, the one we were at the last year in Brussels because that was already taken. Okay. We did it because it's basically cheaper and more convenient in terms of uh, walking distance for uh, the first um, uh, night event on Friday and so on. Um, okay. So the point probably is that less convenient for uh, having people more... Uh, chatting and networking and so on because of yeah. how this is but the place is is good in in any case um this may help to to lower the, the expenses okay uh, i mean i'm happy with both places the the first one the Ibis one is a, a hotel so it's uh, you know a bit smaller and perhaps more crowded in those terms if you go to the other place it's more uh, business oriented so it's more well it's different it's more business oriented but that's all not a big deal okay I think that sounds great um, do you who's kind of be the point of contact for it is it you you mean for the for the IBIS uh, yeah well was Alicia from Viteria doing this but I can be okay. here. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to need to um have chaos pay for this? How are we going to do that? I mean, that would we have dollars to do that. Yeah, I would say we can go for a sponsor thing, as I guess that we did for San Diego. Okay. Um, and probably Viteria is happy to participate and contribute in somehow. Okay, I won't hold you to that, but <laughs> that would be great um, if they could. And if not, just obviously ping me, and then I'll connect you or Olivia with the folks that you need to be in touch with. Hmm to kind of pave out a community bridge. Hmm. To me, that makes a ton of sense. I'll run it by Georg and Ray in terms of spending funds, but that's what it's there for, so. Yeah. I would say that probably anything, or what do you think, everything should go through um, community bridge? Or... That's what we did for San Diego, and that worked pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we do it that way, that if there's a, yeah, if there's a sponsorship, we just kind of handle it the same way that sponsorships come in to Community Bridge and then Community Bridge can handle all the payments from there. Yeah, I think this, this may be the way to proceed. If we see any difficulty with the hotel or whatever, we can do it on our own. And that's okay, it. well, let's plan on that. I, per, I would prefer that. Hmm. Okay. Hey, that's nice transparency. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I think that. And I think we had a few, a few problems <laughs> with San Diego, but I... I think they're getting ironed out <laughs> at the moment. Um, so we should be good there. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you for kind of the update. Anything else on that? Do we have a team? Uh, well, in terms of the uh, organizers, you mean? Yeah. I'm assuming the same as for San Diego, but probably we need to send kind of an official email asking for, hey, okay. would you like to? Maybe we could put that as an action item, even just this week do a call out for people to the main yep. list seeking to participate. Yeah, that would be good. I'm happy to participate again. And I'm, I'm also happy to run the CFP. So I, I have that on my to-do list actually to create the call for proposals form and I'll circulate that out to everybody once I get that created. Thanks, Because we should probably get that stuff started. Yeah, I know time <laughs> has this weird tendency of going fast. <laughs> um, do I forget? Did I have the sponsorship document you had created? I thought Don. Remember that one, or did I create it? Anyway, I'll track that down. <laughs> I think you created it. I think okay. didn't Georg maybe uh, update it and work with Kevin to post it on the yeah. on the new website? Oh, Georg, yeah. you are there. And I can pull up the link for you real quick. Um, I can. You can put me down for trying to track down folks again. Okay. Anything else on that? Oh, 
yeah, for force them probably uh, another interesting thing would be to try to have a table for the community. Yeah. To have what? Uh, to have a stand for chaos. At FOSDEM? Yep. Yep. Um, okay, so. So uh, I don't know who's, uh, who's gonna be at FOSDEM or who's planning to be there. I know some people in the meeting right now are attending. So. I think Kevin, aren't you gonna be there? Uh, yes, yes, I was planning on going. Okay. And I believe uh, Georg was planning on being there as well. Yep. And do we I have someone? Have... Do we have someone on the hook to submit the stand? I can do it. I had asked on the mailing list to see who wanted to help uh, man the booth. Hmm. I can help. We have a proposal for Grimoire Lab like two, three years ago. So. Yep. Um, okay. If, uh, um, a suggestion here, if there are, I don't know if, if it's interesting to kind of prepare some specific documents for each of the working groups or software or pieces of software. For the state, because, for the booth? Because, yeah, because not everyone will be there. So, I mean, I can talk for some of the working groups and some of the softwares, but not for everything and everyone, so, you know. Yeah, actually maybe we can put it on like nice paper. Do people hand out paper? Um, we could do like cardstock kind of thing. Yeah, or at least if there are, I don't know if there are people coming and interested in OR, for instance, and, 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 yeah. and there are not people coming, so at least they have the information and we can point to them and so, so that's all. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put like, let's think through what we have at the booth to hand out. Okay. Good. Anything else on that? ChaosCon, FOSDEM? Uh, we'll send FOSDEM talks related to chaos. Happy to participate. That's all. Okay. Yeah, Kevin, are you going to submit a FOSDEM talk? Do you know? I was thinking about it. Uh, not certain what the topic would be currently, but uh, I have been, I've been thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, I've been sort of waiting until right now. They're only taking um, talks for like the main track, mm -hmm. and I think we have a better better success rate in getting them into the dev rooms. So they're in the process of having people submit proposals for dev rooms. And then once the dev rooms get accepted, each of the dev rooms has their own call for proposals. Okay. So usually what happens is once the dev rooms get announced, um, I think we, I think last year we brought it back to this meeting and talked about all of the different, different dev rooms and where we were going to submit. And so I think, I think that should be ready sometime in October. Okay. Cool. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Kevin, here, oh, obviously you're going to fuzz them if you're going to be at the booth. Are you going to submit anything? Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay. Got it. okay. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you. Um, anything else? FOSDEM ChaosCon related? All good there? All right. Um, I did want to bring up something that Kevin's been bringing up for a while, which is the potential for the creation of a, of a communications committee. This is not a from what I would understand, this is not a, a committee that would meet like on a weekly basis, but this would be a group of folks that would be uh, responsible for just these kinds of things, kind of keeping the website aligned with thinking about, I think in last week, Georg, did you bring up the potential of a wiki page? Yes. 
um, the Chaos Weekly newsletter, the Twitter page, or tw Twitter page, the Twitter handle, um, just all these kind of things, having a group of people that are attending to these many threads on a, on a regular and consistent basis. Is that kind of the premise, Kevin? Yes, uh, and, to, uh, and to kind of make sure that we're maintaining a consistent message across all of the, uh, the work groups and uh, software uh, uh, groups. Do people have thoughts on this? Uh, just a question, how far have we gone with the wiki page that uh, just suggested it? I have put together the draft and shared it last week um, for an outline. I have not worked on it since. Okay, because that's really a great idea. Yeah, and we decided to keep it high level, so not a lot of detail, just to give an overview of what chaos is. Um, that someone wrote, I said I would do it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Anybody have thoughts on this? The a communications committee? John Man. posted in the chat that he cannot talk right now, but he is in favor of the idea. Okay, I, see. I think I think coordinating communication is important. I think if in, the, in a volunteer organization, a committee is it's helpful for making consistent decisions, and but, but it's also helpful to have somebody who's kind of like a if anybody's interested or able to be a point person for managing communication consistency and that's great too and i think it's really really we've got gotten to be such an enterprise that consistency i think is the main concern okay um, um, is that people are doing communication that's not good i mean it's that we just want to be consistent so that people come to us and our identity is clear as a whole seems like everybody seems to be in favor of this kind of listening to you sean yeah uh, kind of looking on the <laughs> the chat here um, John, I don't know. So how often do they meet? What actions would they take? I think that would be maybe the responsibility of the committee to kind of spell that out. If you look in the chat, that was the question from John. Um, well, one thing I'll add is you're definitely describing like two different functions. Like one is maintaining consistency and the other one is like more like promotional work, like, you know, social media, Twitter handle stuff. Yeah. Um, and those are, you know, those are definitely related, but they're like two very different functions. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. So Kevin, <laughs> I think the, the general take is, is yes, this is a good idea. Um, could I give you an action item to try to identify who might be those people? Perhaps even reaching out to the list. Sure. Okay. I will. Uh, I will reach out to the list. Okay. <laughs> bless, you. bless you to somebody. All right. Um, great. So. Um, and then, honestly, before we get into updates. Uh, I just want to say that kind of for the record, Google Summer of Code was a huge success this year. Gigantic. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know if it was because of the, the, the fact that we had done it for a second year, if it was just a really awesome alignment between articulating the projects and the students who applied. I, I don't know. It was just a, it was a really great success this year. It seemed like everybody was highly committed with work in Augur and work in Grimoire Lab. So at least that was my take. That's, I felt the same way. I, I, I mean, I might attribute it to the fact that we did know more about how to do it, but um, I, still, it, you know, maybe there's different kind of students too. I mean, nothing against the students we had last year, for sure. You're a little hard to understand, Sean. A little hard yeah. to hear. A little yeah. hard. To, oh yeah, I, I thought it went well. I mean, <laughs> How about that? That was good. <laughs> I thought it went, I thought it, I just I just want to put it out there. We don't have to talk about it a ton of detail, but I just wanted to put it out there. Um, all right. Any other comments on Google Summer of Code? And all of our reports are in, so we should get paid in full. Yay! <laughs> Which is awesome. 
Um, let's see. Um, any updates from from software groups? I will say that um, Grimoire Lab just had their first weekly meeting with respect to software. There's been a, a large number of requests, large, there have been a number of requests for the software folks to have weekly meetings to talk about the software itself, whether it's the deployment of the software, new improvements of the software, how the the roadmap for the software, whatever it might be. Um, and I just have to say we had the meeting right before this one and it was great. <laughs> I really thought it was great. So I'll put it in the weekly newsletter, uh, the recordings available, but it was, it was just re really refreshing to see kind of this talk about, about software um, and, and how that connects in the project. So um, I know a couple of people on this call were there. Um, and then Augur is having theirs, I think their first one on I was Thursday, a week from oh. Thursday, we're going opposite the common group meeting. Nope, that's evolution. So Augur is having right. their right. meeting on Wednesday at right. one o'clock. <laughs> right, yes, that's what I mean. So um, if you can make it, that's great. And I, I just think there are a lot of people who have a lot of interest in the software, and this is a, the chance to do that, to, to connect with the folks who are doing the software development. Um, uh, yeah. so is that every week or every other week? They'll be every week. Okay. Both will be weekly. And the, one of the talks was trying to identify maybe a longer arc. We'll see how this plays out, but how we can identify kind of what a longer term agenda might be for these, uh, for the talk about the software. So whether it's around deployment, whether it's around um, use, whether it's around contributions, whatever it might be, just to give people kind of a, a longer arc roadmap as to what those meetings might look like. Um, so anyway, thank you. If Danny is still on, thank you for organizing that. That was really great. You are still on. I see your picture now. So <laughs> yep. thank you. Do you have any comments on that? That was great. Uh, not really. I hope it's uh, it drives some attention and we keep being more transparent and so on. So, yeah. so one of the th oh, I I just have so many thoughts on it. Um, I'll, I'll kind of leave it at that. I think one of the big things that came across for me was, was how do we um, continue to connect the work that's going on in the software side of things with the work that's going on the metric side of things while still being attentive to the work that needs to get done in the software. Um, so I might want to put it on to the working groups that are thinking about the metrics as to, I'll just stick with Grimoire Lab because we just had that talk, but how would how would you think about deploying, say, the risk metrics or the common metrics uh, via the panels? Did I get that word right? Via the panels in, in Grimoire Lab. So kind of almost upstreaming your work within the community. Is there such a thing as that, that a community can upstream to itself from? Um, definitely. So if, if I mean, if, if there's interest. So our idea is, so uh, we were discussing about having a roadmap and so on, and the proposal was, as we have in our minds in Grimoire Lab, like our own roadmap, first to share this with all of you, with the community, so you're aware of our uh, next steps, let's say. And once we have this in place, then we can start discussing about, hey, how can we bring other things as risk or diversity and inclusion and other working groups and have specific panels for them. Um, uh, but yeah, but first having like a document where we can start all Having an opinion is like, uh, I would say, mm -hmm. that, that was the suggestion. Yeah, so my take is kind of st stitching the deployment of the metrics together with the software, I think kind of has to come from both directions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so from yeah. the software committees, kind of thinking about how that can be done and expressing ways that communities or work groups can do that. But then also I think it's gonna take some effort from the work group, working groups yeah, to get that done as well. In Augur, we include where there is a chaos metric a link to the chaos metric. In our Say that again. In Augur, we do include a link to the chaos metric where one exists inside yeah. of chaos in the API documentation. So I think and that's one way to help bring things full circle. It's certainly not the only way. Yeah, but. Cool. That was really nice. Um, all right, any, any updates? from working groups that people want to share? I know this is kind of a funny time, <laughs> time of the year. <laughs> Anything from risk? 
I'm looking at you, Sean, because you're on my screen at the moment. Risk is working uh, toward implementing uh, the metrics that we define inside of software in Augur. And I think Matt Snell at the University of Nebraska Omaha and Augur team are working very close, which he's part of. It's, but they're working very, we're working very closely with Matt to um, help get uh, an updated risk page deployed. Um, and I think we're pretty far along on that. We had one issue this morning with a one step forward, two steps, two steps forward, one step back on a API thing that we'll fix for him. Okay. It's on GitHub for all the world to see. Um, do you, I see Matt just posted a few days out having CII license metrics in Augur's dev branch. Um, do you have in risk, do you have any metrics on the roadmap? for version, I don't know if we're going to call it version 1.5 or version 2, but. We, uh, we, we, did, we don't have them clearly on the okay. roadmap right now. Part, partly that's because at the last uh, meeting that we had, I mean, there was pretty low participation, but it was the meeting right after OSSNA. So I'm thinking that this coming Monday, there'll be better participation. Okay. Um, to identify with some of those. Yeah, yeah, we don't have a roadmap clearly defined for the next stage. Okay. Um, Andy, value. I know you had quite a bit of success at Open Source Summit North America. There were some really nice sessions there. Yeah, our sessions were awesome. Uh, we learned a lot. I guess one of the things that was wonderful was to get validation that um, there are people uh, who are very interested in value metrics. Uh, so that was that was wonderful. And one of the outcomes of that is hopefully we'll we'll be able to recruit a small steering committee uh, from the from those population. We'd like to we'd like to incorporate outside perspectives into the work that we're doing. Okay. And the main thing that's coming up uh, for the coming weeks is to get hands on with the software tooling. Uh, there's going to be quite a learning curve, and um, we want to see what we can do with regards to, you know, getting our metrics implemented in Greenmore and in Augur. Okay. These are the existing ones that were part of the first release? Yes. Okay. Did you have any that were on the roadmap, or have you talked about that? I wasn't in the Friday meeting. Uh, no, uh, we don't have um, new metrics on the roadmap uh, right now. Okay. And um, so I think our focus is really going to be on those first two things. And then one, once we get those done, then we'll come back and, and look at the metrics and, and you know, figure out how to evolve those forward. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, Dawn's unmuted, so I'll go to her <laughs> with Common. I, I am I am muted with my, uh, my little thing. Well, um, <laughs> Uh, we didn't we didn't meet because of the because of um, uh, the open source summit and chaos con okay. so we haven't met in like a month um, but we do have a meeting this Thursday yep. at our regularly scheduled time I just multitasking uh, sent an email out to the list as a reminder and as a further reminder Matt and Sean you are on the agenda so we're gonna talk about uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. Why? <laughs> so you got two days to prepare. You were going to oh, talk about yeah. geography yeah. metrics, yeah. and Sean yeah. was going to talk about metrics that are implemented in Augur that we should probably define in common. Thank you. Okay, so if I ask what's on your roadmap for next, I guess it's geography is one of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, geography is one of them. All right, cool. That was that was one of the ones that we didn't get to last time. Okay. Um, there are also, it's possible we might have some more organizational affiliation metrics. I'm not sure if we want to define some of those a little more granularly for the next release, something we should talk about in the meeting. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the, other, the other piece that might be in the next release is around um, the metrics, Danny, that you were looking at. I forget what we were calling them, responsiveness metrics or something, mm -hmm. sort of like yep. first time to uh, respond or first time to whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's another candidate for potentially for the release out of common. Mm -hmm. Plus whatever Sean brings us from, from Augur, because we might have some cool stuff that's already basically defined by software that we can document. Yes, I think that'll be kind of a, a new way to think about these as opposed to big ground up. 
well, I don't know. The two yeah. directions. Yeah, the yeah well, we, don't, yeah. we don't need to start from scratch. We have, I know we have some of this stuff already implemented in software. We might as well just define it and make sure it gets in the release so that people know how it's defined. Cool. Great. Thank you. Anything else? You were, <laughs> I, okay, good. Thank you. I'll take that as a mute. Um, so evolution, I know that, okay, so evolution has shifted their meeting time. I'll just, I'll say that. So the way that evolution is going to shift is they're going to go on the off weeks of common. So it's at the same time as common. And so basically Thursdays at, I think it's 10 a.m. U.S. Yeah. Central time is now going to be a, a meeting. Right. Um, just half the time it's common, half the time it's evolution. So. Yes. Anything you want to talk about with evolution, Sean? No, I think um, we resolved, I, th I think all the issues we could, we asked the people for the ones that are not resolved who can help us to help us. And um, I think probably the first thing we'll do is start, start thinking about which metrics we want to put in the release. And uh, okay. Carter, who works in my group, is going to be a co-lead in that group. He's actually looking for some help um co-leading so if there's anybody who wants to help lead the or coordinate the evolution group going forward that that is a welcome thing yeah thanks for carter for doing that i think that'll <laughs> yeah really be nice yes I, I do too but i do think it'd be helpful if you had somebody to sort of partner with you. um well I, you know i think jesus yeah. is still going to continue to try to join mm -hmm. Um, yourself. So, I, I mean, there are a lot great. Of, yeah. I think it'll be nice to just have kind of have somebody consistently documenting what's going on in evolution. Yeah. Um, and I think, too, in evolution, it's going to be similar to common. I'm suspecting that Grimoire Lab and Augur have deployed a lot of evolution related. Yeah, it's the place where we had the most to start with, I think, for sure. Okay. So, maybe uh, we'll need to identify those. Okay. Um, I think we're almost done. Oh, DNI. I don't think DNI's met for a while either, have they? No, we have canceled last week because of the conference and this week because of Labor Day. Okay. So we'll meet again next week on Monday. Okay, so probably not a ton of update. Or do you have an update? Looking at you, Gary. Yeah. Okay, that, that was it. <laughs> I do think that was it. I think that was it as well. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. This is great. Um, honestly, that that is my list of things. Are there other things that people would like to bring forward? Relatively short meeting coming off of OSSNA, ChaosCon, and and then for some of us on the call, the start of the semester, which is usually a swift kick. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> yeah. So any other, are there things that people would like to bring up, comments or concerns moving into next week? Um, I, I have a question. Uh, yeah. this, is, this is more related to the uh, chaos con in Brussels. So I would like to know about the, what happened there, your opinion, your comments in general. So I don't well, know if we you had a summary of the meeting. The what? The chaos so, count in North America? Yeah. Did Matt, I thought I saw you send a summary out over the weekend. I don't, I think I just said, hey, it was great to see everybody. No. no. Summary. Um, actually, that does bring up a, a point. Um, so right now we're, in terms of summarizing, maybe we could, maybe the communication committee could take this on as one of their first items. Um, so right now, all of the videos, Danny, all the videos that were done are, they were obviously recorded and we've sent them out to folks who did the talk and we're just waiting for their approval. So we'll, once we, we just wanna make sure that people are comfortable with what they said. I, have I don't. Where are we at on that? Uh, oh yeah. I have received half of the approvals. I'm still waiting for a couple of them. Maybe we could start kind of putting those half together. 
Okay. That would be a good start. We could get those out. Yeah, we might as well upload and link to the ones that we do have approval for, and we can then trickle out the other ones as we get them. Yeah. If you've heard from the keynotes, I think the keynotes should go up first. Have you heard from Zahida? I know you've heard from, from Zahida, but from other keynotes. You heard from Yana. Yes. Yeah, in this case, I don't think the keynotes should go up first because apparently there's a lengthy approval process for one of the companies that um, for the keynote. <laughs> You so I say just uh, let's just upload the ones that we have and, and keep going. And then um, did we have a, was there anything else that we had, Kevin? Did we have photos at all? Uh, I'm assuming that Sean took photos. Sean took a shockingly small number of photos during this chaos con for reasons of having several talks and being split across two rooms, I just actually didn't get into my photo relax mode where I could observe. So a, a photo library is one of the things I have on my list. Uh, I have a couple of shots of Yana keynote and I think a few other things, but it's not my usual. Georg, did, was it Olivia who was taking, was she taking pictures as well? I don't know. I don't, I didn't keep track of pictures at all. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we even failed to do a group photo. We were really, <laughs> we were photo light. <laughs> so maybe we just rely on the, um, maybe we just rely on the videos that we'll post. I think we'll just post them against the agenda item. Is that kind of your plan, Kevin? You know, like in the agenda, we could just add a column. Oh, in the, uh, on the website page or the yeah. chaos con North America yeah. page. Yes. Yeah, so I'll get them posted, or Vinod, you can get them posted on YouTube. Okay. And then you can just link them that way. Or actually, uh, on the website, I believe in the past, we have put the, we put the PowerPoints there. Okay. Uh, and then the videos are just on the, uh, the, uh, the YouTube channel. However, we do have a place on the website where that YouTube channel plays. Okay. Yeah, we have done several combination of all of the ones you just mentioned, including including it, the link on the agenda, having the YouTube channel, having a playlist on YouTube for that conference, and then we can embed that um, playlist also on the website. Okay. Kevin, uh, do we have? Oh, that's sorry. Question for everyone. Should, should I add the kiosk logo on the videos? That's optional. If you want to do it, I, I personally like doing it because I wanted to brand it, but that was when I did the work. So I'm not gonna say do it if I'm not gonna do the work. It's, it's easy because I have an Adobe Photoshop, I can just add the one picture. Yeah, you can do it, that'd be great. Okay. Um, okay, that sounds good. Do we have the slide decks from everybody, Kevin? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't received them. I'm uh, assuming that maybe Georg has them. Yep, I uploaded all of them to the conference website. One slide that is missing, which is of the keynote speaker. So maybe yes. an, an... there's a purpose why it's missing. Yes, so, because I have to add that in the video. That's why I was looking for that. How about we will, we will take this conversation offline and we can update folks next week as to what this looks like and then plan on kind of doing a chaos con overview release next week. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. Very cool. Um, what else from folks? We have a hackathon in Baltimore where we wanted to participate in. Oh, that's right. In the BW open week. Yep. And we had uh, scoped out two projects or uh, two ideas for students. One is uh, Green Moore Lab, um, where the idea is to use meetup.com data for the students to analyze their local meetup groups. Yep. And then we had the second idea for Augur to implement the uh, meetup dot com API in Augur and an action item for those was with due date today to 
create a one page summary that can be handed to students. Um, I know we have it for Grimoire Lab. I post the link in the chat. I don't know if uh, anyone from Augur has a uh, one pager. I, I would be the first to have done that. I do not yet have one pager. So are we sending them? I can have that though. Are we, are we sending them? to Jacob. What? Probably sending them to Jacob. Okay. All right, I'll get yeah. that to Jacob. Did you send yours in, Georg? Not yet. I shared it with you first. Okay. And are you just sending it to Jacob? That yeah, I will. I was wanting to combine everything from Chaos so he gets everything in one scoop. That's why I'm asking if you have the Augur one. So well, I don't have it ready right now. Did you post? I see you post a link to the minutes. Did you post a link to the? I I did create a document for. There, Augur. I just put it in there. Okay. I'll have to look for it. I'll send you an email. Okay, I see it. I'll get you, I'll get you that by the end of today. Thank you, okay. Georg. Thank, Thank you. you. So basically, just so people know, BW Open, they're running a hackathon. It's the Baltimore, Washington, DC open source hackathon. And they had reached out to the Chaos Project to have a couple different projects that the students could work on over a weekend. Um, and really it's just the students would do just what Georg was talking about, connect with Grimoire Lab or connect with Augur, and then we make a couple mentors available over the weekend on Slack to answer questions that the students might have. So it's just exposing chaos related work to students in Baltimore and Washington for this hackathon. All right. Now, anything else? It's like the, pretty good. It's like the student who raises their hand right at the end when the, <laughs> <you know. laughs> any questions? Oh, wait, hey, and then we're like, no, let me go, so. <laughs> uh, are we meeting this, uh, are we meeting on Thursday for the evolution working group? For which working group? Evolution. No, I think this week is common. Correct. This week is common. Yeah, I was just saying that if we could just resend like an invitation so that we can sync our calendars. You know, sometimes the people want to keep like popping up. Sounds good. So it's like a meeting, like a calendar invitation for evolution. Yep. yep. Correct, Sean. Okay. Um, Matt, if there's a standard way that you've been doing that, or just a calendar invite to the okay list. Okay, I'll take I'll take I'll talk to Carter about making sure that's yeah, or just maybe I'll just do it. Okay, cool. Now, is there anything else? Yeah, okay. evolution needs to update the website because right now it still says Wednesday. Yeah, I saw that. And also okay. the link for the local time. Yep, I will issue a pull request on that. Excellent. Okay. All right, folks. We can put the calendar invite in in uh, on that page as well, the web page. Yeah. And maybe just point people to that. I don't usually like sending out calendar invites to a list. Yeah. Well. Yep. <laughs> I get a lot of no's on that one. <laughs> so, so don't can, do we, it. Don't do it. We, we'll, we'll, set the, we'll put the calendar invite on the web page and we can point people to the web page saying here is the updated time. And if you want the calendar invite, do it yourself. I actually, I, so I do a, com, an, a calendar invite for the common metrics meeting. And I just, if people want to be added to it, I just add them. Okay. So I just manage it from my personal calendar, which is like not an calendar. awesome solution, but at least it gets pe gets it on people's calendars, which does help indeed. You want, we could put it, we, why don't we put it on the web page as well? We can just put the, an ICS document or an ICS thing mm -hmm. on the web page. But the, the problem is when you do that, um, it doesn't update people's calendars when something changes. So when you change the date of the meeting, it will forever be at the wrong date. 
That's true. Because they've downloaded it from an ICS, especially with recurring meetings. I think those are so fine for one-offs. So our general meeting is, our general list is chaos at lists, right? They, Say that again. Our general group is chaos at list. Yeah, the, next the point is don't send out the calendar invite okay. to the list. I'm hearing, Connor, I'm hearing. So Don, you just send it out to people you know that you know to be interested. Yeah, I I sent an email out and ask you know who was interested in attending the common meeting, and then I just sent them the meeting notice. And you already have people attending Evolution. I would just send it to the common, like the. I would just send it to the regulars. You just add them to the list in your own calendar. I just add them to the to the meeting invite in my own calendar. I manage yeah. it entirely from my calendar. So if I get hit by a bus, that meeting screwed. <laughs> yeah. So forever. <laughs> so not ideal, but I think better than sending it to the entire list. In so my maybe the, opinion. So the point would be, Sean, is just try uh, to remember all the people. Yeah, just um, the meeting minutes might help with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you all still? I think you all are still using Mailman. You haven't moved over or looked at Groups.io, have you? We did a long time ago, and then we didn't because we didn't. <laughs> Well, there wasn't no real compelling reason to do it. So, so the only thing I will add for groups.io is it one of the things it has is a built-in calendaring function. Um, so it can basically like host out an ICS. It's, it can be a little bit funky at times of deleting things off of a calendar, but in, in the context of having sort of a shared calendar that you can subscribe to and then add those invites to it, it works really well. Like I use it across a number of the um, foundations I manage and it tends to work really nicely. So just a thought if 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 groups I know might be of interest, not to okay. say you have to redo all of your infrastructure just to solve the calendaring problem, but the calendaring <laughs> problem is sometimes a, a root cause. We can we can bring this up again. I think it's been like a year since we talked about maybe even longer since we talked. Yeah, at that time the Linux Foundation wanted to move all of its projects over to Group IO, and then they stopped due to some technical, whatever. And, and then so it just kind of went over, and we never got to it. Yeah, and then it just kind of went away. Yeah, they just stopped migrating. Okay. Well, I mean, if, if you all want to discuss and if you look at some of the feature set there and it becomes valuable, I'm, I'm happy to help, you know, make the connections to, to get a migration going. It's usually not too complicated. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, John. No problem. Okay. So, Sean, don't send an ICS to the list. Don't send it. not. I did not. I sent one to <laughs> people I could remember off the top of my head, and then I'll go back to the. And you can reach out to them. So I yeah, just... I'll reach out. I'll look at the meeting. <laughs> it's like Bob in my head yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, if you want to, if you're on this call and you want to have a meeting notice, just email me to tell me that you want a meeting notice. Because like some of the people I tried to look up, I don't necessarily have your email. Okay. Anything else? I've asked this like six times. Anything else? This one, Martin. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Sorry, this was kind of a. It felt kind of like an ad hoc meeting. I wasn't horribly organized for this one. This is not not my mo. Um, but I think we're good um, till next week. Uh, and then obviously I'll see you in a number of of meetings. Apparently I have some work to do on geography. So. All right. Talk See you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye.